What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we've got a quick fun build returning to stasis for a change, and this grants us loads of diamond lances on the Titan, with super high orb generation for fast supers, near permanent unraveling rounds for strand weapons, damage reduction, and an all around powerhouse stasis build for Titans. So we're able to freeze a bunch of stuff with our stasis grenades, and then smash our way through or destroy frozen targets, which gives us a load of diamond lances, but also orbs of power are dropping consistently, which allow us to get unraveling rounds on strand weapons, and that's really strong on strand machine guns, fusion rifles, or even things like the dragon called Sickle, and we should keep in mind that since this is a caster sword, they are seeing a buff on March 5th, and Bungie reducing the heavy attack energy cost from 5 to 4, but also increasing heavy attack damage by 16%, so that's nice as well, but yeah, this is solid at close range and can be used more conservatively, or at longer ranges and things like Grandmasters, so pretty fun build, and now let's break down the setup that we're running. And firstly, we're running Diamond Lance on a stasis subclass, where we can shatter or defeat targets with stasis abilities or weapons to create a stasis lance. And this is paired with the Cadmus Ridge Lance Cap on the Titan, where Diamond Lances create stasis crystals on impact when thrown, with more crystals created by hitting bosses and vehicles, and while using a stasis subclass and behind a rally barricade, rapid precision hits and combatant final blows with stasis weapons create a Diamond Lance near you. And so we're freezing things with our grenades and on kills, we're getting these lances spawned, and since we have a lance cap, those are improved and will also spawn on subsequent kills with the barricade. So we could easily freeze loads of targets with this and just keep going. But we're also using the cryoclasm stasis aspect, and after sprinting for a short while, it enables a longer and more powerful slide, and sliding into stasis crystals or frozen targets shatters them and any nearby frozen targets. That in itself is really strong, but the other benefit, of course, when we're in closer range, is that it enables to pick up things like diamond lances and orbs of power. And those orbs of power can benefit our strand weapons in particular, which we'll touch on in a moment. But paired with this in the subclass, we've got Whisper of Chains, and when you are near a frozen target or a friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage from targets, so the damage reduction is pretty good with this considering how much stuff we're freezing. But additionally, we have Whisper of Hedrons, which dramatically increases weapon stability and aim assist, as well as airborne effectiveness, mobility, resilience, and recovery after freezing a target with stasis. So that's improving our survivability as well. But importantly, we've got Whisper of Fissures, which increases the damage and size of the burst of stasis when you destroy a stasis crystal or defeat a frozen target. Whisper of Shards, where shattering a stasis crystal temporarily boosts your grenade recharge rate, and shattering additional crystals increases the duration of the benefit. So we're getting loads of grenades back, and finally we've got Whisper of Bonds, where defeating frozen targets generates an orb of power. And so we're freezing things with our grenades, and on kills, we're getting the lances spawned, and we're kind of focusing on orbs of power a little bit with this. And to boost our weapons, we've got unraveling orbs in the artifact, where picking up an orb of power grants strand weapons unraveling rounds. And so as well as targets being frozen, we're getting unraveling rounds on things like the scatter signal fusion rifle from this season, and the Mikato 45 right here, which is a strand machine gun. But of course, any strand weapons will work, and we can give these unraveling rounds easily because Whisper of Bonds is allowing us to spawn an orb of power when defeating frozen targets. And of course, hitting targets that are frozen with unraveling rounds is a bit of a double whammy, allowing us to deal with tanky targets, champions, and groups of enemies much easier. Again, there are plenty of other strand weapons, including things like Dragon Cult Sickle or primary weapons. And between freezing groups of enemies, shattering stasis crystals, the diamond lances we're getting, and the bonuses for weapons, we're getting quite a few benefits simultaneously right here. But leaning into generating orbs and diamond lances, our gauntlets have two times bolstering detonation mods, and that grants class ability when you cause damage with a grenade, which is helping us get barricades back quickly. And then we're using firepower on the gauntlets, where grenade final blows create an orb of power, so we're getting even more orbs now, and our class item has Bomber, which reduces grenade cooldown when using a class ability, which of course we're doing plenty to spawn diamond lances. But there's also Reaper, where shortly after using a class ability, our next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power as well. And since we're running strand weapons, we've got strand weapon surges on, where collecting an orb of power gives us armor charge, and then strand weapons gain a small bonus to damage while we have that armor charge, and of course we've got two of these mods boosting strand weapon and unraveling round damage. But on top of that, there is time dilation, that's on the class item, and that slows the decay of armor charge, so it's pretty good because we've got tons of diamond lances, loads of class ability and grenade energy, but also lots of super energy from the orbs we're generating. Those orbs are also allowing strand weapons to have unraveling rounds pretty much consistently, and nearly every component of what we've got equipped right now is receiving some kind of benefit from the other abilities or weapons that we've got on, so really fun build and pretty solid for in-game content as well as general stuff. 
So I thought a quick video could be fun today, guys. Big shout out to my friend Duditz for helping set up this build. Let us know your thoughts on it down below or any similar builds you've been using. But for today, that's what we have to break down. So as always, I hope this one has been interesting. And if it has, a rating below very much helps us out on the channel. Also, be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. For now, though, I appreciate you tuning in and I hope you guys have an awesome day. <laughs>